What it do is your boy Moody Star, and I'm back again with another video. If you're new, you already know what to do, man. Become a subscriber, like the video, and join the Moody Game team. This is a channel where I like to highlight current events, and I like to talk about my spiritual walk here in this matrix. So I'm going to talk about a little bit about what's been going on in Haiti, bro. So apparently uh, another earthquake struck Haiti, and like this shit is crazy. Um, they was just recovering from another uh, earthquake 10 years ago, almost a little over 10 years ago. Uh, this had that that earthquake was um, was was pretty bad. Like I think tens of thousands of people uh, passed away in that first one. And so far, like I said, I'm kind of late to this, but um, so far it's been at least 200 confirmed people who have passed in Haiti right now at this in in this current time um, of the earthquake. So with with all that being said, bro, this is this is a time. Of course, we need to pray for Haiti. Of course, yeah. But yo, it's like history repeats itself. Shit keeps happening and we do little to nothing about it when you really think about it, bro. All we do is probably make a couple statuses go go viral. Um, you know, we, we probably sit in silence for a little bit, you know, we probably send a little money here and there, but like after a couple of weeks it's, everything is back to normal. Which is sad because I'm not saying that right now this is what's gonna happen. But I'm just speaking from experience, and that that and and when things like this happen, bro, we have to realize like, are they trying to inform us or are they trying to promote fear? You get what I'm saying? If you if you are the type of person to watch the news all the time, then you know for a fact like they have. There's not a day that goes by that that they don't talk about somebody passing away or uh, somebody dying or a disease getting worse. You feel me? There's not really a lot of like stuff that's being spoke positively um, that's being really pushed to the forefront. And if it is positively, you know, it's probably for some monetary gain. But I don't want to make light of this situation, bro. Like, it's really tough, man. There's a lot of sh shit that goes on on the face of this planet that we really don't know about. Like, we are literally at the mercy of the media. I only know about this earthquake because of the media, because of, um, you know, social media. And, and, and mind you, I really haven't, for me to find out so late, I really haven't been a part of social media to, um, or, or been on it to, to know what the fuck has been going on. Cause to be totally honest, I'm, I'm cultivating my own energy right now. You feel me? I'm focused on what I got going on as far as helping people on a spiritual aspect. Cause as you can see clearly, clearly bro, a lot of these people in Haiti, they had houses and, and businesses and like, bro, not just, just because mind you, even if you were rich, poor, whatever, bro, like mother nature is undefeated. So a lot of these people have all these places and, and all this property, bro. And within like an hour, all this shit is gone, bro, due to, to an earthquake. And mind you, I don't know how natural that earthquake is. It's either the earth is starting to wake up and um, it's starting to show in natural disasters or allegedly there is like a CERN machine and they're like apparently i guess the world government can control the weather and can force things to happen probably you know what i'm saying it's either one of those two things either way bro that's why you gotta like cultivate yourself and, and really be spiritually in tune bro be 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 connected with the most high because there's a lot of shit that goes on that we only know that um that we only can find out just through social media or just through the, the news or any little outlet that outlet that they give us. With that being said, bro, what does that mean? What is reality? Reality is what the fuck they painted for us, bro. You get what I'm saying? There's a lot more worse shit that's happening in the world. And we need to pray for everybody. If we're going to pray for Haiti, we need to literally also pray for everything else that's going on in the, in the world every single day. You get what I'm saying? And like I said, I ain't trying to make light of the situation, bro. I'm I'm counting my blessings right now, man. I feel terrible, bro. This is why, like, I always go back to it, bro. This is why I call myself Moody Star. When shit like this happens, I deeply feel this shit. You know, I feel like I'm an empath. You feel me? So, like, whenever, thing, whenever, whenever something happens to somebody else, I can feel that shit on a deep level. But I can't let myself get too caught up. And that's that's how I create a way where I'm just where I can kind of like cut myself off from feeling that shit too deeply. Still still care, but I can't emotionally get all the way in too, uh, too, too tied up with it. You get what I'm saying? So 
um once again you feel me it's it's a tough situation you guys need to look at y'all situation just be and just be thankful man you know what i'm saying you could you could have been in a worse situation you could have woke up this morning and your house could have been gone bro on some natural on some natural disaster type shit bro we always want to blame the government for all this bullshit but like when mother nature happens bro how you gonna how you gonna counter that how you gonna deal with that if some shit was to happen bro and we couldn't live in modern day times how the fuck would you be able to survive in the in the wild like if, we, if, if, if something happened where you couldn't go into no more buildings and no more houses all this shit got poisoned and everybody just had to be outside nigga like how would you be able to survive you feel me it's, it's shit like that like sometimes you gotta really think about like what, what it is to really be a man be a masculine man you get what i'm saying like how would you survive like when 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 times like this i'm, I'm i guarantee you right now even though that situation is bad in haiti that situation also made men leaders out of some some of these people that's in that situation you get what i'm saying you know pray for haiti man this shit is crazy times is crazy bro um but don't let this affect your inner peace too much but you know just be aware of what's going on be thankful and other than that it's been your boy movie stop and catch you guys on the next video peace